happy. Today I'm bringing you a tutorial which will be featuring my Ben Nye pigments. Uh, and this is a... Uh, it's a very red, gold, beautiful summer look uh, which I've thoroughly enjoyed making. Now it's not just um, slap your eyeshadow on and you're gone, it's a bit more detailed. Uh, and so the brushes that I'll be featuring are things like your MAC Mac 210 brush which are very fine very fine small brushes because uh, you're more painting your face rather than just packing on eyeshadow and the reason for that is the number of different pigments that I've used uh, but this is what we've come up with so lots of coppers, reds, golds etc so just a very beautiful look so if you want to see how this is done stay tuned unlike some of my other tutorials this one's actually going to be voiced over because I was more concentrating what I was doing and I was sort of forgetting to actually say what I was doing so yes it'll be voiced over but yes so if you want to see it please keep watching alright so I've already primed my eyes and I just used my daily Giordana eye primer uh, and now I'm just applying my base so over the eyelids I'm applying LA Colors Relaxation Jumbo Eye Pencil which is just a lovely deep red shimmer sparkle color uh, and this will form the base for my eyelids and then from there up to my brow bone I'm using my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Cashmere which is a very nude color with a slight gold shimmer uh, so this will reflect better for the upper part of the colors that I'm using next I'm using uh, my Maybelline Tattoo Eyeshadow uh, cream eyeshadow and this is the plum color pomegranate pump punk and this is just to provide a very firm base for the next pigment to apply and this will just give a very bold full color along the lash line so this is where uh, we want the most color now I'm applying the first of the pigments and this is my obsessive compulsive pigment in uh, authentic which is a very very dark uh, brown copper color uh, so this is the darkest of all the pigments that I'll be applying and I'm just applying this directly over the top of where I put pomegranate punk and the reason why I'm doing this is I still wanted a bit more plum than what authentic gives so yes next oh, um, just above uh, the first of the pigments I'm applying my Ben Nye pigment Indian copper and this is an incredibly rich, rich, bright copper and I've got to say it's my favourite. The little that I've played with it, I just am in love with it. So I'm applying it to my eyelid, not taking it all the way up to the crease. Uh, I'm wanting to make it slightly thicker at the outer edges of my eye and taper it in slightly towards the inner corner. Uh, and this will just uh, elongate my eyes and make it just look absolutely gorgeous. Next I'm applying Golden Apricot which again is a Ben Nye pigment and basically this one here it's similar in nature to uh, the Indian Copper it's just much much softer so it's not as bold and intense and I'm applying this up to my crease and this will blend in well into the next colour where we're starting to move into the more gold so it's a good transition colour. Next I'm applying my NYX Pearlmania Colour um, pigment in Oro which is again another transition color up to the gold so this is more of a neutral color uh, with a darker neutral color with a bit of a gold shimmer to it and uh, again uh, this is just going above golden apricot try not to blend them too much otherwise you will lose the golden apricot and this is going midway up to the brow bone up to where we want the gold to go Next, taking my Ben Nye pigment in Aztec Gold, which is obviously a very beautiful, bright gold. Uh, I'm only using it very sparingly here, but I'm basically taking it from Oro all the way up to my brow bone, leaving only a tiny space between the pigment and my actual brow where my highlight will be going. And the reason why I'm using it sparingly is I really wanted the focus for this look to be on the copper on the eyelid, because uh, at sunset your most intense colours are obviously at your eyes and this look was reminding me of a sunset so uh, I wanted it fading out as I went along. And finally just using a crease brush I'm applying my NYX Pigment Nude which is as the name suggests just a very nude 
uh, nude pale pigment but it makes a lovely shimmery highlight and it blends in really well with the Aztec Gold. Next I'm just getting my uh, eyeliner brush and I am applying the uh, Indian Copper pigment underneath the first two thirds of my eyes uh, just to uh, obviously uh, match it up with where the Indian Copper is on the upper eyelid. And then balancing that out, I'm applying my Aztec Gold into the inner, inner third of my eye and around the corner, just to make the inner really bright and really pop. Uh, otherwise, the Indian Copper can become a little bit too much and a little bit too bright. However, I'm not putting much gold in, as like I said before, I'm wanting the Copper to be the main focus for this look. So that pretty well does all the pigments. Now it's just a matter of cleaning off the face and the fallout. Uh, I forgot to apply... Um, some loose powder on my cheeks so cleaning it off was fun. Next I'm just taking a black cold pencil and lining my uh, lower and upper waterline. Uh, this is my Face of Australia uh, black cold pencil which I find is really good. I wonder does anybody find that they have one eye that they can apply it really well to and then the other one they can't? For some reason that eye, I cannot apply it to my upper waterline. I don't know why, I can do it fine on the other one. And then just applying it to the top of my lash line. Uh, just to give, basically this is just going over where I put the brown pigment. Uh, and if you're wondering, well, why did you bother putting the brown pigment on if you're just going to cover it over? Well, this is why. I'm using a very stiff brushed eyeliner brush. And I'm basically just working it across the black eyeliner to remove some of it so that that dark plum will come through. Now just applying my um, mascara, I'm just using my Maybelline Falsies. Anything which really gives you a bit more volume and length is brilliant. Uh, I did do this look for a daytime look, so hence uh, no false lashes etc. Uh, I didn't want it to be too overwhelming for when you're going out. This is for summer after all. And then just matching it up with a very light nude pink lips. Uh, this is one of my Wet n Wild Wet Shine lipsticks. And there you go. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and that you like the look. If you have any questions at all, please comment. And as always, please subscribe. You'll see the button. Uh, but yes, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourself.